Right, Salawam, Salawam. And we would like to start off by giving our honey glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai by Hashem, Kadash. The honor to our apostles and the bishops, great minister, only well. Peace and blessings, health and wellness, and how to be And we are the GMS Mississippi Camp. All right, today we're going to go into a live stream. Just basically going into, you know, we are the fallen ones. You know, watching the um the Dallas Camp going to that live stream Friday. All right, it's followed it, and it's a uh, segue into uh, what basically uh, Esau's lab rats. You know, who you see as the so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that's not who we are according to our natural state. That's not who we are according to our biblical makeup. You know, he got like a genetic makeup, he has a biblical makeup, man. So we're just going to go through that through the spirit, uh, I believe, through the spirit of power, Yahweh, Shema, Shah, edification will come out. So, brother, can get that first scripture. Um, it says 2nd Ezra, so yeah. chapter 15, right? Yeah, yeah. And so this is 2nd um, Ezra 15, verse 52. When I, with jealousy, thou so proceeded against you, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. If you had not always slain my chosen, exalting the stroke of your hands and singing over your dead when you was drunken. Yeah, talking about Esau. Right. All right. Set forth the beauty of your countenance. They set forth the beauty of your countenance. And this is mockery. So basically, when they had us in captivity, when they was hauling, hauling us off of those cargo slave ships, that was like a, a conqueror. That was like a defeat. All right. They have different monuments today, which are emblems of defeat. Like what's that? The Ark of Titus. Yeah. All right. And you have uh, different statues where there is like a, a picture of uh, what's the uh, Theodore Roosevelt. Walking with a guy and a so-called Negro. Yeah, and it's spiritual, um, which I got to uh, go into because I pulled it up. I, I can't be lazy. I got to do that video now. Basically, um, he has an arch himself. Theodore Roosevelt has an arch. Um, and, uh, and and even um, George Washington has one, too. You know, showing you like it's, it's a repeat. It's yeah. certain people, man. So because ever since the the, the 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 time of Genesis, the time of Adam, there was always the envy of the serpent towards Adam, mm -hmm. or towards the sons of God. Mm -hmm. And what did he envy? He envied that rulership. Mm -hmm. All right, we're the fallen ones, man. And you know, I um back in high school, I had to read a book called The Fallen Angels by uh Walter Dean Myers. All right, now that was going into something else, but this this topic reminds me of that book, man. Fallen angels. So when you see Jake, like when you see Jake in these ghettos, you see Jake in America, you see Jake on the back of a truck, man, we're falling, we're falling gods, man. Basketball courts. Yeah, the basketball, because we're performing in his gladiators. But it's all a sign that you're still conquered. That's, that's a conquering, man. Okay, you got it, brother. Hey, <clears throat> hey bro, this is um, um, Psalm, Psalms chapter 137. By the rivers of Babylon, that's right. there we sat down, yay. We will, when we remember Zion, we hang our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they carried us away captive, required of us a song. They that carried away us, they're the they that carried us away captive, required of us a song. Mm -hmm. You got it. And they that wasted us, required of us mirth, mm -hmm. saying, "Sing, so like sing us one of the songs of Zion." Yep. How long shall we sing the Lord Yahweh's song in a strange land? That's right. And you know what that reminds me of? Because they required the Israelites to sing right in their captivity. You remember that movie Five Heartbeats? Yeah. yeah. And they had them all outside the uh, police car. Right. And they were technically in captivity. I think they was in, in cuffs. That's right. Where they was basically held, uh, you know, under the siege of the police. That's right. But the police required them of a song. Yeah. Show you who we are, man. Right. It's, it's, it's sing us a song, nigga. Yep. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's, that's who we, we're the fallen ones, man. That's it. And history repeats itself. Because that's, it. that's the most I give you token showing you who we are according to the Bible. All right? Okay, verse 5. If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember you, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Yep. Remember, O Lord Yahweh. The children of Edom yep. in the day of Jerusalem, who said, "Race it, race it," even to the foundation thereof. Because ever since Jacob supplanted Esau, Esau wanted blood. Mm -hmm. So now, when the Babylonians took over, that was a, a happy day for the nation of Edom. Mm -hmm. So when the Babylonians took us over, guess who assisted them? The nation of Edom. Race it is another word for erase it, destroy, destroy them, finish them, take everything. There goes a nigga right there. Go get him. You know. 
I see one running. There you go. You know? Is there more to that? That's it. All right. I got some. <clears throat> um, I got two in Lamentations. All right. Uh, uh, first is uh, Lamentations chapter 4. Um, and uh, verse 18. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. All right. Now, um, Lamentations uh, 2 and 17. The Lord have done that which he have devised. He hath fulfilled his word that he had commanded in the days of old. He hath thrown down yep. and hath not pity. He hath caused thine enemy to rejoice over thee. Yep. He hath set up the horn of thine adversaries. Why? Why though? Why did the Lord cast us down? All right, why did we get cast down from that, that, that high estate? It's being a giant on earth. Which that giant goes back to Nephilim, which really goes back to like status. And that's where we get stature from. All right? So when it's talking about giants, that's really like a metaphor for the stature that we had on earth. And that's why it was so sweet to our enemies to be fallen. And they, and they stood over us saying, Yeah, sing a song now. Cast for us the, the breed of that count is now. You know? You, you, you got, got it, bro. Got, got two more perfect right. requests, brother. Bro, before you get through two, okay, okay. go get to us, bro. That's a Oh, no, 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 that's what we got. It's, wow. Let's go. Lamentation chapter 1, verse 1. How doth the city sit solitary that was full of people? Yep. How was she become as a widow? She that was great among the nations. She that was great among the nations, bro. Giants. The giants. Right. Because that, that she, cities, cities were personified as women. Like if things have what do you call it uh, a personification, so to speak. But cities are uh, personified as a woman, man. That's right. All right. That's why you read Jeremiah six and two. I have likened Zion, the daughters of Zion, to so a comely, delicate, delicate woman. woman. So we was like beautified with the law, statutes, commandments that was above all these other nations. Yeah. We fell away from that glorious state. See, back then we were looked at as superior. Mm -hmm. The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, as a collective, we were what you call. Like we were what they call like the white supremacy back then. Yeah. The, the, in the present world, you had uh, European colonization. All right, everybody had to resort to the standards of Esau. But in the ancient world, now nah, you had to confine to the you had to uh, what is the word? Be into the ways of us. Because we had the way of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. That's how Esau tells you that his way doing European colonization that was the way of the Most High. Right. Now in the, in the ancient world, our way was the way of the Most High. Started with Adam. Started with Adam. Like when we was connected to the, you know, the law of statutes, commandments, that's like true white supremacy. Yep. Because you go to the word white, goes into holy. Holy. That's so right. We're sacred. Man. That, that, and then basically what you're saying is the holy way was the standard. That's right. The way of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the holy way, that pure way, that was the standard over all the nations. So if that was white supremacy, then what Esau is doing now is black supremacy. supremacy. It's a play on words. Yep. yep. Deaf supremacy. Definitely. All right, black horse. You know, you know, you got it, brother. All right. It says, uh, and princess among the provinces, how has she become tributary? That's why hey, I was just watching the documentary the 13th again, and all those laws and legislations uh, started from slavery to like now, and I resort to the so called blacks and Latinos in the penitentiary. Mm -hmm. So Esau has found a way after slavery to keep us in captivity. All right. And it's like, damn, at the end of the documentary, they mentioned two so-called races, the blacks and Latinos. They were, they were like, you know, the three-strike law and prison industrial complex, it has really devastated the so-called blacks and Latinos. I mean, out of, and like, out of all the races, that's the two they mentioned within the prison industrial complex. Because America only represents a small percentage of the world's population, but it has 25% of the prison population. And the majority of them are the 12 tribes in the prisons. You see? All right, that. Oh. because why you have to keep that lion in the cage, mm -hmm. you have to keep that lion. Because hey, we, we saw that documentary, I saw part of it mm -hmm. about those six lions of that coalition. That's right. Well, if you when you look at King Solomon's throne, he had six lions on one side and six lions on the other side. Mm -hmm. But what, what's the nature of a lion? The nature of a lion is to conquer territories. That's right. So, we was when King David in power, that was like into a lion. Being in power, mm -hmm. and that was like into a lion dominating other tribes, all right, dominating other species of animals. So that was a devastation to the other nations. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm going back to uh, Revelation 11, when we went into slavery, that was great celebrations because that lion is finally in, in, in shackles. And you made a strong point in order because you said um, 
the so-called Latinos and the so-called black nations, yeah. basically how they had, well, basically they were against them. Yeah. And I think about the precept, these two prophets. Let's go. Tormented yeah, things. Let's go. Yeah, you know, let's, in let's, the book of Revelation. Let's get that after that. Okay. The United Kingdom. That's right. Israel. That's it. Israel. Because, Israel. because you know what? Shit. In that documentary, I found out when female lions run together, they call it a pride. Right. But when males lions run together, they call it a coalition. What's that coalition? The southern and the northern kingdom being connected, running the world. And it devastated the other nations. That's it. You know? That, uh, the Wizard of Oz, the, 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 the Cowardly Lion. Yep, that's right. Bird, that's Jake. That's Jake. And this following the state. Yep. Like the, uh, the priest of Bayou always go into. That's why they. Eve is programmed to chip away at Jay Kerr. Yep, yep. Her whole life, she just yep. chip away at your Kerr. Yep. Because you know? it's a gaslight narrative that you, no matter what you do, is not enough. That's right. It's a gaslight narrative that you always fall short of something. Yeah. All right? And that's the point of domestic, that's a, a domestic attack. Yeah. But then there's a systemic attack that you would never come into power. It man. starts at home. It starts at home. Because gaslighting requires you to question you. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I can't say that. That's right. You got it, bro. Them lines. Turn on lines, they all brothers. Yeah, you know, they, that's right. They all brothers. They'll never run together if they would, brothers. That's right. So that's like, that's like, that's like no other king, some king, we all brothers. Mm -hmm. And that's how we gonna, we gonna yeah. come together, take the kingdom, because we all have yeah. brothers. That's it, bro. Got them lines, if you, especially like I said, like bro, if, if, if they ain't, they ain't brothers, yeah. they ain't gonna, they, they, they ain't gonna match. Mm -hmm. They gonna fight. That's right. And them, and them brothers, man, man, them, them, hey, they took, they took some shit. Yeah. They, they, they took they took what they want. Yep. Hey, that's spiritual, because you know you think about it, the sons of God, Lord with that's us coming back into that stead. Mm -hmm. Abu Rock is out when you have a shot beating sons back up. That's like a family reunion, oh, like yeah. the other woman said, yeah. of the Al yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, connecting back together as brothers. Well even the uh, the Lion Coalition with that documentary, mm -hmm. some of those brothers were dispersed from each other for a period of time, mm -hmm. then they came back together. You know? And then what did Akili say on Troy? There's no packs amongst lions and men. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And what were the other nations called the sons of men? That's right. You see? <laughs> we were made to rule. That's it. We were made to rule. You know? LeBron James wasn't designed to play a sport in the in the Esau's uh, Coliseum. He was made to rule over the other nations. That's a conquered lion. All right? Being a a, a, a a source of entertainment for his masters, man. Right. Lamentations chapter 2 verse 1 How have the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with the cloud in his anger mm -hmm. and cast down from heaven unto the earth I can't make that up no. Can you read that again? Lamentations chapter 2 verse 1 How have the Lord covered the daughter of Zion the curses yeah. Go ahead with a cloud. The curses are the cloud. Yeah. Because of the curses, it's always raining on us within Esau's kingdom. That's right. There's no blessings. Right? Spiritual it's a spiritual th uh, stigma going to a spiritual fucking thunderstorm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Always consisting of lightning and thundering prior to us coming to the truth. We're saying that I do right into eight. I should not find no risk. Exactly. Amongst these nations. We're literally dragging that blanket around like the fucking blanket on a. Uh, Snoopy. Snoopy. Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Snoopy got his own song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a scarlet letter. It's a scarlet letter. Yeah. It's that it's that it's that that brand of shame. Because mm -hmm. uh, hundred years ago, hundred and fifty years ago, a woman committed adultery, they put that A on her, and the A was uh, a stigma of shame so the, the, the rest of the community could see that's the whore. Adultery. Uh, that's the adultery. That's right. That's so the, the curses. That's Israel's scarlet letter. Yeah. So the other nation can see that, you see that she transgressed. Right. Yeah. That's why we have her in our possession. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was it was done, uh, our shame was done publicly. Yes, yeah, public shame. shame. You know? Well, you have to get that from us, bro. That's right. It had to be a metaphor. It had to be a metaphor. That global slave trade, that was the public shame. That's it. That was like what they call the SLUT walk. You see? Yeah, 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 yeah but that was that was that walk, that was that public shame. Even now. 300 years later, you can look pictures, you can look at pictures of that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Jake was paraded. Yeah. So, yeah. Now I'm saying, like, Esau literally did that also in Northern Kingdom. Yeah. They wore Portugal and Spain. No. Yeah. Like, right. Showing them out being naked in front of all the nations. Yeah, bro. That's where you get the zoos from in yeah. today's time. They yeah. from Jake, man. Yep, it was a human zoo. Right, yeah. right. That right. shit made it to Coney Island, Belgium, right? Mm -hmm. You had the, uh, and you also had uh, Filipinos there, too. And that was just one Israelite yeah, woman. Right. Which are Jake's. Yeah, Jake's. Like it, bro. I forget her name. No, it's, it's, it's one Israelite woman. She had some exaggerated features, like a real big butt and stuff. 
and they paraded her in the zoo. But they say when she died, they actually chopped her body up, and it's still at the museum to this day. You know, so that, that whole Megan the Stallion and like the exaggerated features they really go back to her, man. Like kind of looking at the woman's, the Israelite woman's body, like it's some type of yeah. exhibit, yeah. you know. But like when that lady died, like I said they chopped her body up and put it on display. They pretty much. Uh, uh, Esau East, even basically made a prostitute, did Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's their little freak show. Man, bro, you got bro, it, bro. Like, like a head, just going back to the curses, uh, like you said, these enchantments, because Esau pretty much capitalized <laughs> off the curses. Mm -hmm. Like that evil eye, yep. what did he do? He made real music, that's right. you know? The uh, the evil eye towards the husband, what did he make? Divorce court, child that's support. That's right. You know, so Esau just capitalized mm -hmm. after, after all the, uh, off, off all the curses, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. You got to go. You hold us up? Yeah, I'm going to finish it up. I'll finish it up. <clears throat> right, Lamentation 2 and 1. How if the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger and cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Israel. And cast down is going to the fallen ones. And so now the priesthood such as, you know, Aaron and Moses became who? Lil Wayne. Kodak. And Kodak. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> King David has became... Uh, LeBron James yep, yep, and yep. things of that nature. Not saying King David right, is right, yeah, LeBron yeah. James for you idiots out there, yeah. you know. <laughs> and remember not his footstool in the day of his anger. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Okay, this is Ecclesiastes 16, starting verse 6. In the congregation of the ungodly should a fire be kindled, and in a rebellious nation, wrath is set on fire. He was not pacified toward the old giants who fell away in the strength of their foolishness. Who the old giants? Us. You know what I mean? Those sons, the sons of God, yeah. the sons of the power. Fell away. We fell away from that glorious state. Mm -hmm. yeah. And brothers was going into in Dallas now. We were subjected to the, the flesh. Yeah. So we had to learn righteousness and wickedness. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the way you maintain your state uh, state was through obedience. Mm -hmm. But the most I put into these chains of darkness, mm -hmm. which made us by nature deviate from that obedience. Mm -hmm. And obedience is equated to rulership. Yeah. The closer you are to your power, the higher he'll put you on the planet Earth. But when you deviate from the power, guess yeah. what? You lose that status yeah. or that stature, right, right. that giant status. Right. So when we, when we deviated through a process of idolatry, that caused us to be estranged from our power. And, and, and as a result, we're into this fallen state. Yeah. And the silver lining in the flesh is eventually it will give us what? A full spectrum yeah. Yeah. of being judges. Because right. Yeah. right now, bro, back then, all they knew was righteousness, mm -hmm. but they had no experience mm -hmm. of doing wickedness. Now, in the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be a full special where we know good and evil. That's what makes us, what, truly God. And that's what the, uh, the parable of Luke 15 with the prodigal son. That's right. It's like Israel. That's it. And that's those it. the education. That's it. We lived as heathen, and we saw, we found out the hard way what was the result of deviating from the most right, high. Right. But at the end, we came back to our father. That's it. We got reconciled. That's it. We got it. And it's an invitation to, I'm going to start at 15. All that passed by clapped their hands at thee, they hissed and wagged their head at the daughter of Zion, uh, Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that man called perfect mm -hmm. and beauty? It job the whole earth. If I can say something, you know, because uh, it's a scripture in Psalms that links up with that. We were actually called the joy of the whole earth at one point. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's, it's for example, uh, and, and really on every level, um, you see a slight example of that dealing with uh, the Moors, like everybody would go to uh, Timbuktu and, uh, and, you know, West Africa, like that was pretty much like the center of learning during the uh, the Dark Ages. But, but see, like, that's like a, how you say, a microchasm, it's like, like a small yeah, spectrum yeah, yeah. compared to how we were during the time of King Solomon, man. And, and, and ultimately during the time of Adam. And I, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. Well, what would you put a point, time of Adam, King Solomon, yeah. We were really those men during that time of Adam, man. Yep. You know, and like you said, a lot. You watch a lot of movies. A lot of those parables that they have, it came from King Solomon. Those proverbs, and it said his soul flooded the earth. So tell the fact, oh, it flooded, what, what do they mean by his soul? Those proverbs and that knowledge and that wisdom, man. Like you said in a while back, that was the new style. Like in the ancient world, wisdom was the trending thing, man. You know. Yeah, and, and uh, brothers, they went into a while back like that. That covers uh. Everything dealing with the breath of life, because yeah. you know, of course, he he would see the law, says commandments, yeah. but the Lord gave him, yeah. you know, extra uh, intelligence, you know, yeah, or knowledge of the planet Earth, knowledge of the planet Earth, how to maneuver on the planet Earth. That's why King Solomon said wisdom taught him the nature of uh, wild beasts, 
All right, uh, the, the, the natures of the winds, the, the virtues, the roots, the different plants. Because he had to give you a, a, a map in your mind as, to, as to how to work the earth work around you. All right, all right. Hey, I'm say, I'm, you know, I'm saying this on, on, on the corner explaining this. Hey, enjoy the whole earth, world, right? And Jake, like for LeBron James from soccer players, like the the Israelites, every nation want to be or act like the Israelites. That's right. Music That's right. Wise. worldwide. The whole, the, Worldwide, like everybody had enjoyed seeing them. Yeah. Kind of football, basketball. Yeah. Look, they enjoyed watching, even though we don't win captivity, we slaves. But they enjoyed watching, watching them boy ball. And you know what? Then the shows you that who we are, that influence. Yes. Because even other guys want to another live stream, like, well, we're still giants. Yeah. Yeah. So even in captivity, we still got the influence. Yes. Like we we took slavery, we we took the curses and made it cool. Hey, point A. A hey, case in point, LeBron James has become a billionaire yeah, yeah. in captivity. In captivity. <laughs> and who doesn't want to, who, who didn't want to be like Michael Jordan? Who don't want to be like LeBron James? Anybody got like a little boy that's five or six years old? You see? And you think about guys like Gucci Mane, even with this drill music. They doing drill music worldwide now. In London. In, in London. Italy. In Italy. So, so even, even, our, even our dumb is worship. Mm -hmm. Even our lower state. It's worship, man. Us being in prison is, is like in, uh, influence, man. Yeah. So how much more when we come back to our glory? That's right. Our punishment is cool, man. That's right. To you the know, other nations. It's like a dish that's not, you know, it could be one of the worst dishes, but if you put a little salt on it, yeah. you know, it enhances it, man. Our, and speaking of, some of the best dishes were put together in slavery. Food that we still eat now, whether it's Mississippi, New Orleans, no, that shit was put together from eating the discards of Esau. Right. A lot of mixed vegetables, like the, the roots of the vegetables that nobody would eat. Right. And we put that together, put a little season on it, mix it up, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Put a little this and that in it. Speaking of. Yeah. All right, uh, brother, it's good because we're going to segue after you get your scripture. All right, finish what's up there. And all thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee, they hiss and gnash their teeth. And they say, We have swallowed her up. Sir, this is the day we look for. Yeah, and that goes into the book of Ezekiel, how they say the other nation was like, aha. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You go to the word, it goes into to rejoice in your enemy's misfortune. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. So they taking advantage of us due to the curses, man. Mm -hmm. And they're capitalizing off of it. Mm -hmm. You know how much money was made from slavery? Mm -hmm. All right, you, you hit him a lot. That's why, you know, Esau, he, 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 he symbolized as, as the, what the accuser of our yeah. brethren. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Why? Because they understand... In order for Israel to be accepted of the Most High, they have to keep His laws, statutes, and His commandments. Mm -hmm. Because that's what that's where that, that disconnect came yeah. in. Because Israel put back the laws, statutes, and commandments and started worshiping idols and other gods. Yep. And that's when the Heavenly Father He turned His back upon us as a people. So, in order to, to to keep us down and keep them into power, they have to do what constantly put forth these stumbling blocks mm -hmm. and the guise of disobeying the Heavenly Father. That's right there. That's yeah. so, yeah, right. If I, if I can uh, land back. Because um, like the other those are hobbies are getting into the sons of God you read in Genesis, you know, that's us, you know. It's Israel. Just at, at that time we was called uh sons of God. Because right. like the uh Captain Shaquat had read, uh the giants fell away, mm -hmm. you know. But you know, uh, the prophet Jeremiah said how uh what the Lord told him that he would discontinue from his heritage. No word discontinue. Means to uh, let go of That's right. or, or fall away, That's right. pretty much. Fall away. Fall away. Right. Yeah. Right. This is Ezekiel fourteen. We got This is Ezekiel fourteen and five. That I may take the house of Israel in their own heart, because they are all estranged from me through their idols. You go to the word estranged. It goes to prostitutes. You know, you read John the eighth chapter, and how Shaw was writing sins, those wicked scribes and Pharisees, mm -hmm. it was blaming the adulterous woman due to her act of adultery. And that was also symbolic of who? Israel. Right. Israel, the sons yes. of God. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're like into the adulterous woman. If we're deviating from you, how would you know? Mm -hmm. So it says that I may take the house of Israel in their own heart because the most high he chose our strong delusions, right? Right, right, right? And it says, because they are all estranged from me through their idols. And you read Ezekiel 16, chapter of the most high, he was like going to how we was like that delicate, you know, beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. He beautified us with his uh, garments, right. with the different uh, jewels. jewels and stuff like that. You know, uh, he, you know, he 
he adorned us. Right. And we was like the imperious, poorish woman. We started liking to these other nations. So we had everything we needed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From like, I mean, just great welfare, shelter. We have to pay no bills. We had clothes. Yeah. Had the car outside, the double yeah. garage. Yeah. While the most high was uh, out to work, what happened? We let the alarm man come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, Israel like them street niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Exactly. Well, um, that's yeah. symbolic. That's yeah. right. That's right. Was symbolic. Man. Cause Eve, what is Eve like? You know. That's right. That's right. You know. But that's that's our mirror that the most high put in our face. Yeah. You know, he was just boasting throughout the whole chapter what he yeah. did for us. Yep. Yeah. You know yeah. So, uh, song of Moses, Deuteronomy 32, out. Uh, just run, before the name of Israel, oh, wax fat and kick. Back and kick. You know, Jake had everything. That's right. Point. And I quote preach that. Yep. In Jeremiah chapter 5, <clears throat> verse 25, he said, Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding mm -hmm. good things from you. Mm -hmm. So, just like Brother was saying, like, our behavior, like street culture, black culture in general, that culture separates us from our power. And the feminist, feminist, feminist yeah. all that. See, this, this, yeah. that's keeping us from rulership. Christianity. Yeah. Yeah. And Esau knows that why I say he searched out the iniquities mm -hmm. and the inward thoughts that deep. Like Esau has studied the weaknesses of Jake. That's right. Psychology. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why, he's, like you said, uh, Erzah is a, uh, it's a uh, systematic. Yeah. The system is based off Jake's weaknesses. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. He he studied he he you gotta understand he is a cunning hunter. Yeah. Like if you if you read you know if you ever go to the bookstore, there's probably thousands of books on uh, hunting hunting. And and furthermore, you can read all types of books on deer and, and, and different uh prey and different game because this man has studied what he hunted. You got all type of things and all type of tools and mechanisms to trap the prey. Mm -hmm. Well, he did the same. You can write. They have all type of studies on us. Yeah. And our psyche. Yep. You know? Hey, real quick, since you said that, this is Psalm 64, verse 6. They search out iniquities. Yep. Yeah. They accomplish <laughs> a diligent search. Yep. Yeah. So they do the research yep. study, you know, they get the results, and then basically they put it within their system to oppress us further. Yeah. Yep. That's why it said that thou art wiser than Daniel. That's it. Yeah. Because Esau Edom, you know, his his, his knowledge base. It was always based based upon wickedness. Right. So in order for him to fully and truly be the devil here on planet Earth, he had to go above and beyond and far yeah. exceeding the wisdom, not understanding on the left hand side. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I was reading this book, um, and it may be by Charles Darwin or one of those other philosophers of his time. Um, but basically, uh, you know, they said in the book, you know, it, pretty much if you got dark skin, you got coarse hair, it's impossible for you to be intelligent. Like like he, he saw eat them. Like this shit been going on for a while. Yeah, he had his pseudoscience. Yeah, they had pseudoscience. Yeah. Like parts of your brain as a Negro is inferior yeah, yeah. to the parts yep. of the so-called white man's yeah, brain. Right. Yep. Because basically, uh, the condition of Jake in America is basically a social experiment. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know. Yep. Yeah, right. Got to finish it out of it. That's right. Yeah. Hey, this is uh, just uh, a little more. Um, both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Yeah. Yep. Because even <clears throat> in fact, your points are quite. When you take a flea, right? A flea is, a, is a, one of the insects that can jump the highest vertical out of any animal on the planet, mm. according to the research. But if you were to take a hundred of them and put them inside of a jar and put a lid on it, then what it's going to do is going to start stunning their growth. It's going to start mm. stunning their vertical leap. So after a, a, a matter of time of, of of them being trained to that particular height, now you can remo remove the lid and they'll never jump out of there another another day in their life. Wow. Even if they have babies, because yeah. the babies will be that's trained that's the same it. way the parents were trained. That's it. And that's Jake inside of this lid, which is this captivity that the Most High has put us in. Through customs and traditions. That's it. That's heavy. It's, it's a cap on us. It's a limit that was placed on us. Jake can't see past this. Like, rulership is not in Jake's thought process. <clears throat> like you said, with like, like LeBron. Like I said, he's supposed to be ruling nations. Mm -hmm. But all he does is rule a sport. Mm -hmm. And what is he going what is he teaching his son to do? Rule like sport. The, just like, yeah. you know, the other bun brought out. It's like that fleet, you can put a ceiling on it. Like, okay, you can rule this sport, but you'll never have rule shit like this. So what is he teaching his son? The same thing. And, and, it'll, and it'll probably be very uncomfortable to teach him otherwise. Like if, going back to those fleas, if you take their lid off. The, the thought process of what's outside their lid will probably be uncomfortable. Man, I can't, man, I can't never get out of here. Man. Right. Like Jack right. in the hood, man, I can't never leave here. 
And then it's like, it's probably scary to lead. Like, for a lot of Jacob, it's scary to lead that environment. Like, if you took Esau out the equation, Jacob would be scared. And, and even though Jake leaves, well, if Project Pat got this song, uh, and quote that nigga, but you can take me out the hood, but I'm gonna keep your hood. Basically, it's in Jake. Yeah. Jake is institutionalized. Yeah. You know, you can't undo your experiment. You know, but uh, Captain, uh, bro, you was holding the scripture though, right? Yeah. No, no, it's, it's cool. Okay. That's spirit. That's cool. Cool. I'm gonna say this quick. And that's why we're dealing with uh, like uh, Carol. Yeah. That they had a new metric fences. Mm-hmm. They know, not, they, they, right. they, 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 the fence ain't gotta be on. Yeah. They ain't gonna they ain't gonna go near that goddamn fence mm-hmm. at all. They ain't gonna go, but even if the fence ain't on, but they know you touch that damn fence, you gonna shock the shit out of But now, uh, that Jake on, uh, no, we ain't gonna let that. like Jake on from Jackson to uh, bring the guy in Madison. No, we're not going with them. That's no. it. Yeah. And that's why you have Jake <laughs> within Jackson, this small city. You got Jake in West Jackson said he never been to North Jackson. Right. Yeah. They never been to the Fudger area. Yeah, they just stuck in that that type of environment. Well, even me. Oh no, you got it wrong. I forgot it was this uh this um, behavioral therapist, but what he did was he had a he had a dog, he had food, he had a bell. So the process of time, every time he brought the food out, he would ring the bell. So basically, the dog would, of course, salivate. You know what I'm saying? So over a process of time, he removed the food and just started ringing the bell. So then the dog was programmed. All right, every time I hear I hear this bell, I'm gonna get fed. By just parrying the bell, mm-hmm. so it's a it's it's learned condition. Yeah. You modified think modified be, that's be a modified behavior, bro. You think you learn this stuff just because it's fun? I watch this cool experiment. What you gonna hold us up, bro? Yeah. Come, and I got to uh, Ecclesiastes chapter ten verse seven. I have seen servants upon horses because you had brought out how um, giants go to statue, mm-hmm. and you know. Using Django for an example, when you're on that horse, you know, that's like a particular statue because yeah. you climb on the horse, you up high. Trying to stack it. Right. And you see how Esau was looking at Django coming, you know what I'm saying, trying through the neighborhoods on the horse, and how um, Stefan looked at him. He wanted to know what he was doing on that neck. Who let who that nigga on that neck? Right, that's because it, was, it wasn't it was the norm. And right in, in that scripture, historically, it's really going to Esau being that servant. God. The God. Esau being that servant sit upon the horses, man. That's right. All right. So really, because now, like, we live in a twisted twilight zone where our slave is ruling over us. Yeah, you know, right. we, like the, the zebras and the gazelles and the, the prey, they're ruling over the lions. Yeah, so right. like the servant ruling on the horse is really Esau ruling over us. Can you continue on with that? And princes walking upon, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Who are the princes walking as servants upon the earth? The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latino Americans, and Native Americans. All right, they're the princes. All right, walking on the earth as servants, as employees, as as as, as slaves, as captives, as modern slaves, or as prisoners. All right. So we have no status in this world. And you see, it's in Jake. It's just in weakness. Yeah. Because if you can start a drug empire from poverty, yeah. imagine if you had a, a control of the resources. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. Jake know how to run and function yep. different businesses. Yep. It's just in wickedness. Because they were saying Nikki Barnes, that was a CEO. You're like a CEO of CEOs. You know what I mean? Nikki, I know you got big meats. Yep, yep. So Empire really was a little kingdom. That was they had that was running the kingdom. Like you said, you could do that with a, a, a drug. Imagine if you had access to the earth. See this this this, this truth is giving us that mindset to go back to having access to the earth through mm-hmm. through obedience of your house. That's what I was shot. We can't force it. It's through obedience. That's right. You know? You got it, bro. I got one after the other. Yeah, that Revelation 11 18. Oh, no, no, bro. Uh, Slop, you, you got it. You were in, bro. Right, real quick. Uh, this uh, Second Kings chapter 18, verse 11 and 12. And the king of Assyria did carry away Israel unto Assyria and put them Halak, in Halak and in Habor by the river of Gozan and in the cities of the Medes. Because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord their power, but transgressed his covenant in all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded, and would not hear them nor do them. That's going to the title of this message. Yeah. If you're a slave, you're classified as what? A problem. Mm-hmm. You know? They had this show called, is it called Milk? Where basically Esau was about to kill that uh, Israelite man and Israelite woman. And he was like, yeah, we got, so many words are like, we got you. Those was amongst like the Amish in the 1800s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
and they had, they was like, we got you, you, yeah. you Africans. He was like, yeah, I broke that covenant, and that's why we yeah. got you. Yeah. Like, you broke the covenant of your God. I'm like, damn, they showed yeah, you. They started out. Like, slavery, like, every every effect has a cause. What caused us, the mightiest people, to go into captivity? It was obedience of our power, mm -hmm. disobedience of our power. That's why I said it was they rock that sold them, mm -hmm. you know? The brother, who I the priest of, he got about four seven five, minutes. Five. Yeah. This is uh, Revelation chapter 10 So like in chapter 11 verse 10 And they that dwell upon the earth Shall rejoice over them yeah, And going back to uh, 2 Ezra 15 Cast forth the beauty of thy countenance Alright And make merry and shall send gifts One to another Because we were in captivity That was a great celebration for the heathen on the earth The heathen are like unto pray Alright Because just how the most high looked at prayer as a drop of a bucket Lions don't look at prayer like that are equals. You know, you're just my food when it's time to eat. You just you just territory that I'm set up to conquer. All right, go ahead. Because the two prophets tormented them. <laughs> the, the coalition of lions, all right, tormented them, enslaved them, conquered them, subdued them. Because King David was moving on the earth like a conquering lion, man. All right, very fast, all right. That dwelt on the earth. Yeah. And, and, and those, those two prophets, those are northern and the southern kingdoms. Because, it, it, cause, and you can tell that the heathen is like a big playground for the heathen. Yeah. You know, you got Moab over that. Moab, he's heading to the AI. Yeah. You know, just yeah. like Esau. Moab trying to build their own son. Yeah. They eat any goddamn thing. Yeah. You know, you know, Esau yeah. doing all this pray image uh, or the messenger RNA. And yeah. It's like, it's like. It's like, imagine like you go in the classroom when the teacher not there. Yep. Pretty soon yeah. it's just gonna be kids yeah. gonna be doing start doing what they want, experimenting yeah. with crazy. And this is yeah. how the earth is. What's yeah. that move with Morgan Freeman back in the eighties? Lean on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The house shot come back like your clock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Kick them niggas out. Right. And when Joe, and when Joe Clark kicked them niggas out last time I watched that, I almost cried. Yeah. And you know, so fulfilling seeing them niggas get kicked out. <laughs> That's right. You so saw a badass kid, man. Like he's home alone. You, know? hey, you see, Esau get drunk because I did ride, sir. When Esau get drunk, he acts like a badass 10 year old, man. With a smart mouth. Oh, you got it, bro. And this nigga behind the global affairs. Yeah, yeah, like a child. In a meeting. In a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, suit on. Yeah. He's a, he's a fucking, like Trump. He's like a child, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, Biden children. They're all children, man. All right. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 15. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that put his thy bottle to him. And see, really, Jake is under an enchantment. Yeah. That neighbor is the 12 tribes of Israel. See, the, the way you see, if somebody get that in Genesis, um, Jacob was a plain man dwelling in the tent, and if somebody could get that Hebrew word for plain, and also that New Living translation of that verse. But read that again, Rebecca, sir. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 15. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that put his thy bottle to him, and make it some drunken also that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Like it says, because that's, what, that's what's going on right now. They're looking upon our nakedness through transgression. That's why it says in the scripture, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seducing him. What is their way? It's their lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. been seduced. We've been enchanted with a lifestyle that enticed our flesh, yeah, but it causes us to be further estranged from our power. Yeah, so it's yeah. pushing our reverse psychology. Yeah. Because yeah. everything that the most high... Um, Regarding the standard of the Most High, it's supposed to be good for us, right. but Esau make us believe it's all it's all bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, they, they made sin a culture. Yeah, that's yeah. They made sin a culture. Yeah. You know, you think about Genesis about uh, Adam walking naked because you know he transgressed. Yeah, that goes not physically Woo! naked. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Christians they see that they read verbatim because they not really picking up. It's the way of the wicked seducing yeah. Eve, <laughs> and in turn Adam fell to Eve. Yeah. And even T V Jakes made a point. I was like, damn, T V Jakes. He was like, we the moment you let your woman pour into you, that's when you fail. He was like, Adam fell when he let Eve pour into him. He was like, we supposed to pour into our woman. So with the moment we fail as a people, he was like, when, when Eve poured into Adam, that's when the world turned wicked, man. That's when everything went down. Like, the man's not the woman. The woman, but the woman and the man. You're supposed to pour into your woman. All right? You, you have to call, call yeah, you want that Genesis? That's right. All right. This is uh, Genesis uh, 25 and 27. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter and a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Yep. And for um, plain, 
according to the Hebrew, I think it's Strong. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Strong's H eighty five thirty five pronounces thumb, right, which means perfect, complete, uh, one who, who lacks nothing of physical strength, sound, wholesome, complete, morally innocent, having integrity. Morally innocent, having integrity. Mm -hmm. So Esau intended us to be him. Mm -hmm. Esau wanted us. Esau wants us to be low life. That's <laughs> why the culture with Jake is shit. I'm gonna get it by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Finesse and scamming. That's E. That's Cain. <laughs> yeah. That's not Jake. Yeah. Jake is something to make you feel bad to be wicked. Yeah, bro. Pursuing to uh, Second Ezra's two. Like the, that was the wicked talking amongst themselves. Like he just here to make us look bad. Adam. Adam made Cain feel like shit. You see? Check this not, out. Not, I'm sorry. Abel made Cain feel like shit. Yeah. His his righteousness. That's right. So Esau gaslighted us and made he made us Esau. Yep. And now he's the 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 the, the, the beacon of light, Christian white man. Right. And we're the wicked ones. That's right. All right. Hey Jacob, and this is according to the list he comes, Jacob was an upright man dwelling in tents, where it appears to indicate the mild my milder and placid disposition of Jacob. Jacob as opposed to the more ferocious character of Esau. Well, like the brother y'all said earlier, like if you look at Jake, Jake really just want to chill. Mm -hmm. Jake has a natural disposition to chill. Why? Because what do lions do all day? Yeah. They just chill it. Right, so the most I made us to have that peaceful disposition. Can you get the in the you get the NLT version of that? Chill and breathe. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot. Like in twenty one seven, a lot. I got a quick count. Yeah. Showing you how Esau is a Real nigga, man. Yep. Now this is uh the first Maccabees chapter six, verse one. It says, "And about that time, King Antiochus, traveling through the high countries, heard say that Elimaeus in the country of Persia was a greatly was a city greatly renowned for riches, silver, and gold, and that and that there were was in it a very rich temple wherein the covering of gold and breastplates and shields, which Alexander son of Philip, the Macedonian king, who reigned first among the Grecians, had left there." Well, first he came and sought to take the city and to spoil it, but was not able because of the city having been warning thereof. And that's a, like he just heard about the riches of something else. Like, you know how Jake hear about this person having something mm -hmm. and they start plotting up a yep. robbery? Like, Esau been doing mm -hmm. that. He just doing it on much massive yeah. scale. Yep. You know, because here it is, he's in this kingdom. He has revenue and <laughs> yeah. different things, but he heard about. What the next king will have, say, I want that. Yep. You know, and that's what Jake get that spirit from. Mm -hmm. We've been enchanted to have Machiavellian spirits. Because yeah. Jake feel like the only way I can make it is really about shit on somebody else. Yeah. But we, that's not our natural disposition. We've been we've been seduced to have that I do me in mindset. Yeah, right. yeah. The whole crab in the bucket spirit yeah. comes yeah. from Edom, man. Just an Edom mindset. Yeah. Right. That's why uh, the scripture say in Habakkuk that you need to keep it at home. That's right. That's why you had a low level with Jake. They come lurking at nighttime. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was going uh, on a uh, belly. I don't yeah. like this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this shit. It's going to be the last round of scriptures, too, folks. And this is uh, Genesis 25 and 27 in the NLT. As the boys grew up, Esau became a skillful hunter. He was an outdoors man. Come on, man. Bass Pro Shop, the biggest pyramid in America. You know? You know, uh, this is one of those stores called Sports and Outdoors or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're doing renovations at the, uh, at the New Orleans Saints Stadium, mm -hmm. and they're renaming it Caesar Stadium. It's already named it yeah. Caesar Stadium. Yeah. Caesar, yeah. yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> but Jacob had a quiet temperament, preferring to stay at home. Right, and then if you look at those words in the Hebrew, mm -hmm. they got like the the, the your phone might be different from mine. Which one? Okay. And this, this, them are uh, two different uh, polarities because Esau Edom pursuing her back to the two. He needs to keep it at home, but 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 Jacob prefers okay. to be at home. Okay. Okay. So this, this showing you that this is our spirit, man. And like uh, I asked was saying earlier, when you just go around, Jake, you see it, man. Like Jake really just want to be secluded, just be by you know by themselves. Like you see Jake outside, like older Jake on a porch and just like Jake outside grilling or something. You know, that's Esau that want to mess with everybody, man. Especially, especially growing up in the south, especially if you grew up in a rural area. Jake really, because that's Jake in Jerusalem. Like if you're in the country, it's not like Jake in Jerusalem or Jake by the beach. Like Jake just chilling. All right, even the, the twelve tribe or the, the northern kingdom, and, the, and even like we by, they chilling on them islands. They not, they not want to, they don't want to conquer. Oh, goddamn, Great Britain. They chilling on their island. 
You know? They tell me we saw that. Like, like in DR, that was them older Jakes. You know, when older Dominicans, that's what they would do, man. They'd be around each other drinking like a Presidente. Yeah. You know, then they'll probably be playing like game boards. Mm -hmm. They just chilling, man. They're chilling, bro. Same spirits, man. Hey, what uh, bro man used to say, Amaro used to come in? Uh, what you doing, bro man? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> just chilling. And you know what they always said? You know, so peace. Because I, I want. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's that's in our state that the spirit bear witness with our spirit, man. Jake was Jake was like peace. You know, we're like a shallow one. Because the theme of Israel is peace. That's it. Yahweh Shah can't restore peace on earth. Yeah. Right, to, but he had to overthrow death in this Esau. Hey, Genesis 49, until Shiloh returns. Yeah, come on, man. The rock shallow one. That's right. Come on, man. So on the end, if you if you was able to go back and look at Chicago like in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, you wouldn't believe it. No. Mm -hmm. You know? But like like you all go into um, the point, the 60s where he saw pretty much fast track yeah. in the channel, yeah. man. And pretty much transformed the mind of our people, man. But that was on the time of Aleister Crowley. Like they started to, I guess, systematize his methods. Yeah. So by the time he did his thing, they were able to take his, I mean, you know, you can only assess that. They took his methods and created a system out of it. And now you got what? Heroin, like all type of drugs. You uh, accelerated the prison industrial complex. Yeah, black culture. Yeah. That's witchcraft. A nigga walk around with tattoos on his face, that man is under a spell. Yeah. You got a tattoo of Caesar on your arm, 2022, you're under a spell. You know? Looking for a reason to kill another Jake. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a heavy enchantment. No, the most high did not create any species to counsel itself out. That's right. Show you that's not natural to look at your own race and be like, fuck him. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the case, why, did, why would he make all these races? Yeah, right. If that's the case, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. Even with the gender war, the women got a problem with us and you know, like the, the most I didn't create us to counsel each other out right. and to not fuck with each other, he created us to unionize. Right. Cause there won't be a we, if, if our great grandparents stopped like that, we would have never made it here. Be, be food for a month. Yeah. And that's why the parable in the scriptures will refer to them as a wild olive. Yeah. Because, you know, you're a beast and you're a savage. Yeah. You, know, you go you you know, you're governed by animal instinct, man. Mm -hmm. You're not governed by a true principle. Right, and, and that's what the sons of men were. Yeah. And the sons of the wicked. All right, they were they were governed by the, they had their own little rules amongst themselves, but also they was rule off their own nature. Mm -hmm. and what scripture referred to them as a righteous decrees. Yep, yeah. that's why King David said I was like a beast into thee. Yeah. Well, we got civilized by the Most High's laws. Mm -hmm. You know, well, anybody have the final scriptures? I right, go ahead, brother. It's Proverbs twelve and twenty six. Righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. What, what's the way of the wicked? Christianity. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the Machiavellian way, Babylonian way, Black culture, feminism, Westernization, Westernization. democracy, democracy, materialistic, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, being a philistine, yeah. worshiping the material, the American dream, because you don't have a guy, so really the material world is your guy. Yeah. You know, like Jake make a whole album about damn cars and and clothes, like that's that, you made that your guy. Material, that's idol worship. You supposed to have nice shit. Granted, but you're not supposed to fucking pedestalize that right. shit. It says in the pocket for a boast not about clothing. Right. That's just supposed to be normal. Yeah. You know? You you make another point too, bro. No, that's it, bro. This is just a little quick write up this is in the Bible too, the uh, some kind of a study, but it's just a a complete lie basically that was written by John W. Rittenbaugh. It says we need to understand that Esau was not a vile person. Today we would lace him. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know who he is. Yeah. Yeah. Today we would label him as a common, ordinary, good citizen and neighbor. He was simply worldly because his interests were not the same of the most high. We heard this story in elementary school how the pilgrims yeah. came over. Oh, yeah. How they were so good. Yeah. You know? Good and that's the introduction to Satanism. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> we just own it. Yep, yep. We don't have the same interests as uh, God, you know? He paid little or no attention to the things of the Most High. He is one of the Bible's major patriots of a worldly person. Yeah, but no, like, they, 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 they definitely water it down. But it watered down wickedness. That's, that's, the, that's your MO. You take wickedness and check people by watering it down. Make it seem enticing. Like it's something you should try. Now if you're against it, you, you're a homophobic. Right. Or you're just stuck in your ways. You, you're one of those guys. You know? 
But uh, hey, this, this, anybody to call the scripture? Yeah, I call it down. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, for who one uh, for who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright? Low life. Low life, man. That's the, uh, it's some like he was a fucking low life with no integrity. And that's what Jake is intended to be now. You said you had one more. Yeah, no, going back to that coalition. All right, yep. Let me surface back up. Um, Baruch 4 and 36. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High. Lo, thy sons come, who thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing the glory of Yahweh Bashanoshai. Shai. You know, that glory goes back to we're being uh, joined by, you know, the principles of Yahweh Bashanoshai Shai through the Holy Spirit. And now we're becoming as the sons of the Most High. That's why we have a problem with this system as if we could possibly be them same men coming back in the reincarnation. Right? That's right. You know? Right. Hey, but with them, we hope you brothers and sisters were edified. Once again, we want to give all the glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahshai Bashem, Kakadash. The Bible is our elder apostles and elder bishops, you great men, start with well. Peace and blessing, help the weather, so that's David's elect. Baba Baba, 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 Baba Ba